Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to a special video I got for you. This is the Silent Assassin suit only of Paris. Only this time we're going to do it with the Masamune sword. We're going to take out both targets with the Masamune sword. You unlock that by completing the Art of Revenge challenge pack. So I'm going to be showcasing here a little bit. So I'm also going to bring along the concealable baton, the coin, uh, a pistol. We're not really going to use it, but we're going to start undercover it in the Yaga auction area. And we're going to store the Masamune sword in the attic. So at the start, uh, we're actually going to wait for Dahlia to finish this uh, little speech that she's doing. We want to greet her as Tobias Reaper. The reason for that is we want to get her alone in the bathroom. Um, this was just to set this things up. If, if things didn't work out the way I wanted to do, this is the reason why I was setting this up. Just in case what I was going to do doesn't work. But it does turn out to work out completely fine. Like I said, this is not a walkthrough, this is not a guide, this is just uh, a bit of a showcase of this, of the Masamune Sword. This is really want to try and do all of the maps with the Masamune Sword, if you enjoy this one, of course. So we're just going to greet Dahlia right now with the, uh, in as Tobias Reaper, of course. Good evening. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, Mr. Uh... Reaper. Tobias Reaper. I'm a friend of Victor's. I see. I wish I had been informed. Well, no matter. Do enjoy the auction, Mr. Reaper. I will see you later. Looking forward to it. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and retrieve our sword now. Like I said, it's in the attic. It's going to be where the Vampire Magician Disguise is going to be. And once we've retrieved that, we're going to take out the bodyguard in Dahlia's room. And just in case things don't work out the way we want them to, um, and the... Because what we want, what we're actually trying to do is get her assistant to come into the bathroom so we can sneak in the room quickly and take her out that way. Now, if her assistant doesn't react to the um, the distraction I'm going to plant, I'm going to create, I should say, then we're going to have to do it in an alternative way. That's the reason why I've set it up, just in case. Like, we can cut off probably two minutes of, uh, of this video if um, this plan just worked out perfectly straight away, but, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't. So that's the reason why I set it up there. So once we've retrieved our sword now, we're going to head straight back to the bathroom, like I said, and we're going to take out the bodyguard that's just in there. And this should be relatively simple from this point out. So once we're in the bathroom now, we're just going to turn on the clock radio. We're going to pull out our uh, baton. It should distract the uh, bodyguard that's just in the room. We're just going to hide here. So we'll be completely hidden by the door. We're going to throw it at his head just in case we experience the punch glitch. Don't really want that. So I'm going to quickly turn off the clock radio as well. We don't want to distract anyone right now. Hide his body in the closet and hide his gun as well. So we're just going to hide his gun behind this closet right here. So Dali is about to come in the room, and if you, if basically I, I was, if the assistant was close by, I would have had to set up this distraction. This is what I'm doing right now. And if you do it too late, sometimes he just doesn't react to the uh, the the overflow in the sink. But this is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now he's coming to the room now to check that out. Dali is going to be having our back turned to us. We're going to pull out the Masamune sword, quickly stab her in the back of the head, and drag her and put her in the closet really quickly. We're also going to have to retrace our steps through the bathroom as well, so we have to quickly sneak by the assistant. So the head turning was kind to us there. Now unfortunately at this point, because we've got this sword on us, uh, we're hostile to everybody. So it's not like we can just go and run down the stairs really quickly, because that's where we need to head to right now. So we're going to have to do it the long way unfortunately, so we have to retrace all uh, our steps through the attic. And we're actually going to go back all the way down the other side of the attic and down the ladder. So unfortunately it is a bit of a long run when it comes to getting to Novikov. But uh, that's, that's the best way I've found to do it so far. So from this point, I'm just going to distract these two bodyguards right here, because the head turning can be a little bit uh, bit funny on these two guards. So once we've got their heads to turn that way, we can come back through this way. Run past these two bodyguards, and at the back there's going to be a ladder, we're going to slide down there. And like I said, it's just a matter of just reaching the other side of the uh, of the building, really. So where we're actually going right now, we're going to be waiting on a staircase for Novikov. I'm going to be creating a distraction there for him, and that's when we're going to take him out. So the bodyguard's going to go and investigate a uh, distraction, that's when we're going to take Novikov out really quickly. I'm just trying to get past these people, these obstacles, as quick as I can. 
Obviously, there's a person here. There's a crew guy wait, uh, just sitting on a chair. We can wait for him if we wanted to. However, I just I don't really want to wait around. I just want to try and keep this as flowing as possible. And so I threw a coin as a distraction to just to get him to move. And the only real waiting part here is just this these two security guards that are in this corner. And once they move away, that's when we're going to advance forward. And the next waiting part is obviously down at the bottom of the staircase, waiting for Novikov to get into position. So obviously we're using the door as cover right now. We're actually going to pull out the baton. The reason why we're pulling out the baton right now is because there's going to be a, tar a guy at the top of the stairs and that's when we're going, to we're going to take him out just in case he spots us. Again, I'm going to throw it at his head just in case we get experience the punch glitch. I'm going to retrieve that and we're going to head down the stairs. And once we get to the bottom of the stairs, we're actually going to open the door. And the reason why we're opening the door is because we want to trigger the conversation between... Uh, the stylist there, well not a stylist, but uh, a model and the crew member. And once the conversation is finished, both of these people will move out of the way. Uh, we don't want to really want to get them involved. And the model's moving back into the, uh, you know, the stylist area. And as the crew member walks past, we're going to take him out. Just in case it causes any hassle. So just as he goes past the door, that's when we're going to grab him. And we're going to drag him into the area where we are. I'm actually just going to drag him down the stairs because, you know, just in case Novikov turns around when we create the distraction, and we don't want him to discover the body, so we're just going to leave him here. So all we have to do at this point really is just wait, and wait for Novikov to get into position. We're actually just going to wait at this point right here. We need to be relatively close to him when he comes onto the stage, but you need to be careful not to get spotted because of the sword that's on our back. Because obviously as soon as you get spotted with this on your back, because it's an illegal item, they treat it as if you have a gun in your hand, so you'll instantly get spotted. There'll be no suspicion bar. So uh, we, we have to be as close as possible, because if we're not, our Nova Card will carry on towards the kitchen and rather than coming through this way. So we're just going to get into position and wait for Novikov to get into place. So now we triggered Novikov to walk back in this direction. We're just going to hide behind the doors here as cover. And just before Novikov walks past the door, we're going to throw a coin in that direction. He's going to send his bodyguard over to investigate the noise. And that's when we're going to uh, attack Novikov with the sword. We're quickly going to drag his body behind the door. And once we've done that, we can exit the mission. That's pretty much as easy as that. Um, the next mission in Sapienza is going to be a little bit uh, more easier than this. Um, it only starts to get tricky when it comes to Bangkok and Marrakesh. But uh, we'll be looking forward to those. If you do want to see more of these videos, just let, let me know in the comments section and drop a like on the video if you did, did enjoy this. And yeah, we should get Son Assassin for this. We didn't get spotted, we didn't get any bodies found or anything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments whether you want to see more of this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.